Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm doing another collab with Rob from Matchbox Garage and we're going to be doing some haulers hauling some Hot Wheels cars. So for my car, I've chosen this little DeLorean and that was sent to me by one of my viewers, Brett, a while back. And to haul my Hot Wheels DeLorean, I'm going to be using this Matchbox GMC 3500 truck. And these are some of their new 2021 moving parts trucks. I bought this the other day at the department store. And this one's like a works truck. The lane closed sign on the back there. You can take the arrow out and turn it around so it's facing the other way. It's a pretty cool little toy. So for my build, I've decided I'm going to chop up the deck on this truck and customize it a bit and then use it to haul around a barn find DeLorean. Okay, so we'll crack on and take the truck apart. So this is another one that's held together with some screws with annoying triangular heads on them. But I can use these small pliers here to unscrew them. I'm noticing that quite a few of these newer, more plasticky matchbox and Hot Wheels being held together with screws lately it can be a good thing or a bad thing when it comes to taking them apart. Right, so with those screws removed, I can disassemble it all. And this model is mostly plastic apart from the cab. So there's the chassis and the wheels and axles removed, the toolboxes, there goes the deck, whoops, next the interior and the grill. And the windscreen. It's actually quite a decent sized lump of casting there. Next step is to strip the paint off of the casting. There's the paint stripper bubbling all the paint up. And then once I'd rinse that off, I'd give it a clean up with the wire wheel on my Dremel, get rid of the oxidation and remaining paint. And so it comes out looking like this, nice and shiny and clean. So I'll put that aside for now and move on to the deck. So it's got all those railings and stuff on the side. I don't want any of them. I just want a simple flat deck. So I cut them off. You can see there's a bit of an opening at the rear here where it all goes together. Where that sign was that went up and down. So I use a bit of styrene to fabricate a rear bumper and that covers up the hole now it's got a wood deck there it's a bit smooth at the moment though so i'm going to rough it up with some sandpaper just so it'll look a bit more textured when i paint it and i also used my craft knife to carve a couple of split planks and on the deck so now I can move on to some paint start with some grey primer and 
Next I detailed the wooden section of the deck with some browns, some dark grey wash and some white dry brushing and I mask that off and I hit around the frame with some black primer and then silver so I'll remove the masking tape to reveal the wood underneath Next I hit that bright silver with some black wash. And here it is after that's dried. You can see that's dulled it down quite a bit. And I also added the yellow and black stripes with a decal at the rear there. And I finish it off adding a little bit of rust with a sponge. Alright, so that's the deck pretty much done. I'll move on and do the undercarriage. So there's a chassis and the toolboxes and steps there. I hit these with some black primer. Then again with some silver. So now they're made out of metal rather than plastic. I can detail them with a black wash on the toolboxes. And the chassis was airbrushed with a light coat of Vallejo rust effect and then given a black wash. I hit the cab casting with some white primer. And I masked off a stripe with some masking tape there. And I'm going to paint my cab orange. I printed out some little haulage company decals, it's E Brown haulage and there I've detailed the cab a bit and I'll apply the decals. So as of the filming of this I've still got no idea at all what Rob's doing. He usually lets me know what he's up to but he seems to be keeping it secret this time the grill is just hit with some matte black here's the interior I detail this in brown and I've also added a road map there on the dash these are the wheels that came with the matchbox and they're actually pretty cool quite a fat axle on them so rather than use some other aftermarket ones I just detailed these I think they look pretty good okay so here's all the parts of our GMC 3500 truck customized and ready to go back together so we can put those aside and move on to our little DeLorean. So drilling out the posts and now I can take it apart. It's the base, the interior, and the rear door and windscreen. Okay, so I figure there's no point really in stripping and painting this because 
It's perfectly fine the way it is. I'm just going to be painting it back exactly the same. But I am going to tidy up those rear lights and the indicators with some Tamiya Clear to make them look a bit better. Then I hit the whole thing with some matte varnish to dull it down and I'm applying a black wash. And here it is after that wash is dried. Helps to dull it down a bit more and bring out the panel lines. So I'll put that aside for now and move on to the base. And see I've popped the wheels and axles out of there. Next I paint it silver. And then using my airbrush, I hit it with some Vallejo rust effect. And finally with a black wash to bring it all together. I hit the rear door with a light coat of matte black just to give it a better surface for taking the next layer. And here's the interior. The DeLoreans had pretty ugly grey interiors. So I just hit that with grey and then a dark grey wash. So next, with all those pieces done, I could reassemble the DeLorean, minus the wheels, of course. And I'm going to use some ground up pastels mixed up with water. I'm going to paint these all over my DeLorean and when that dries it'll give it a nice thick layer of dust and dirt because the DeLorean isn't really going to go rusty in a barn it's just going to get really dirty and while that was drying I've got some oregano leaves I color them with some orange and red brown and then I use a little bit of PVA glue to glue these on around the windows like some fallen leaves and I've also sealed in that dust and dirt there with some matte varnish okay and finally these are some wheels I'm going to be using they're the closest thing I had to DeLorean wheels. Kind of quite unique. These look sort of similar. And I'm just giving these a dust treatment as well. And I sealed that with a very light coat of matte varnish. And so that was pretty much all the hard work done. I just had to reassemble the models and put them together. And I'll be honest, I kind of forgot to take a before shot on the turntable. So here we are, straight into it, our finished custom GMC 3500 truck from Matchbox, hauling our old barn find DMC DeLorean from Hot Wheels. And who knows who E. Brown could be or what his plans are with that DeLorean. Maybe we'll find out one day. So I really hope you enjoyed this build. It was really good fun to do. Something a bit different, I thought. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. And now I'm going to be off over to Matchbox Garage to check out Rob's video and see what he's done. I've got no idea. And you can go and find out as well by following the link that I'll leave down in the description below. And remember to check out some of our other collaborations. Our last one was the Matchbox Di Tommaso Panteras. Classic Italian-American supercars. As always, before I go, a massive thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters for helping to support the show. If you'd like to help out as well, check out the link in the description down below. Thanks heaps for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more similar content.